Sister, no man wants a house where his wife drives visitors away. No man wants to marry and his brothers and sisters can come to his house. Senior pastor has told a humorous story before of a couple that started fighting from reception. Wedding just happened. They came for reception and they started fighting. And the man said, hey, I have entered problem. Why? Because the man turned to talk to his brother in language. And she started quarreling. Why are you talking to him in language? Speak in English so that all of us can hear. Uh -uh. That is a sign and a wonder called a woman. How many of you realize that when, by the time you are getting married, if the man you are marrying is 30 years old or 40 years old on the day you are marrying, that means that he has known his father, his mother, his brothers and sisters and relations for 40 years. And maybe you and him have only known for maybe a year. You did six months courtship in, 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 in church and then now you are getting married. He knew them for 40 years. He just met you and knew you for one year. And you want him to marry you and drive all of them out of his life. 40 years investment should go in one day because of one girl. It doesn't work like that. You see, these are some of the things that make people enter into homes and marriages and then we are struggling. We are struggling. It was the extension, the extension. His brothers are always coming to our house. You don't they know that I contribute. I do like this. They, they are giving me work. I'm always cooking. I'm always, and they're always asking their brother for money. If they don't ask their brother for money, who would they ask for money? Hallelujah. It's so important. It's just a little, little sentence inside that whole passage. But she was eager and ready to accommodate guests. She was ready for people to come to the home. She was ready for anybody else to join them in the family. Now, of course, there is a limit. You don't, you don't transfer your village to live in your house. Say a letter of transfer. <laughs> Hello, villagers. Henceforth, the new posting location is my house. There has to be moderation. There has to be, you know, um, work together in unity. Sometimes these are even things you can discuss before you get married. These are vital things. I know of women that drive their mother-in-laws away from the home. That, that is a disaster. The person that born your husband. You know, I, I'm talking African. He, he born, now him born your, your na, na, na her Pekin. He said, make sure you don't call her, her son house again. Because her son don't marry wife. Will she wish you well? No. These are important things. So I close tonight on that note to ensure that we are accommodating, that we are, we are kind and we are generous. If you have only a few pieces of meat to eat, all of you share together. There is love in sharing. Share it. I, I, I came ahead of a young lady some years ago, this is quite a while ago. Every time her mother-in-law is coming to town, she will go to the market. Rather than buying proper meat, you know the, the one they call bone? bone. Eh? Biscuit bone, thank you. The one they call biscuit bone. She goes to the market, rather than buying normal meat for the household cooking for that week, or for the period that the mother-in-law is staying, she will buy biscuit bone. And then add a few pieces of pomo. Throughout that period. And they brought the case, I said, oh my God, this is more like wickedness. Many times, many mothers have walked toiled, sweated for their children and then they grow up and they are locked out of their lives. That shall not be anybody's portion here and no woman here will do that to her son or her husband or her in-laws and no man will do it to his mother if you believe it, shout a loud amen.